Today we're going to be doing some dry brushing on a Sister of Silence Battle Squad. I've already prepped the area with Pro Acryl's Light Umber. For the actual dry brushing, we're going to use Citadel's Proxetti White. Now do note that the uh, texture of a dry brush paint is a little different. Um, and we're going to take a little bit of that, put some on our brush, wipe it off a bit until you get near next to nothing on the brush, and then start in strokes where you want the highlights to be. So in this case, doing fur, we're gonna have the strokes going in a downward motion so that it gets the top of the hump of the palette of fur. Um, if you want it to be uh, a little bit darker in the crevices, you can use a wash on the light umber prior to adding your um, dry brushing. It's completely up to you, depends on the look you're going for. In this case, I wanted just a uh, down and dirty way to get these done as quickly as possible and didn't do a wash here. If you do want to add further depth, you can also dry brush in layers. So dry brushing uh, maybe a lighter umber or a little light umber with white um, and continuing along until you get to that really high highlight and doing minimal amounts of paint further along as you go on each of your layers. Now, as you can see here, I have gotten the majority of her cape and collar done. And now because I want to have a similar highlight color on her hair, uh, I've gone ahead and I'm at the very end of what the paint is on the brush and doing some highlights, stroking exactly down. So I just hit the places in her hair where it's going to look like there's kind of a, a lighter white or gray streak in it. Later on, I'm gonna go back in with black and really define those edges and areas of the streaks of hair. I'm also gonna use the same brush now that it is next to nothing on it to highlight uh, the edges, ridges, and wear on her gloves uh, and gauntlets. On both sides, again, stroking mostly in a downward fashion uh, in areas where there is an edge or something that the paint can catch on to. As you can see, I'm pretty happy with the finished product. Looks like real fur, uh, has done a great job um, of highlighting and giving some definition, but also uh, giving me again that definition in the gauntlets and the hair that I've been looking for. And as you can see, the squad is all ready to play. So until next time, please subscribe, like, and follow me over on Instagram.